Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about quicksort. The way quicksort works is we select an element known as the pivot. In this case, we're going to select the first element in the array, and then we're going to organize everything as less than or greater than that. So we're going to select 9 as our pivot and organize everything to be less than to the left of it and everything greater than it to the right of it. So this is kind of the reorganization of our array. And here is the example of that. After we organize 9, we are going to perform quick sort on the left side and the right side of our split array now. So now that we have this array, we're going to do quick sort on the right side and the left side. We're going to make 7 our pivot and 12 our pivot. And then again, we perform the same thing on a smaller subset. Now we're going to do the same thing to the left of 7 and to the right of 7 and to the left of 12 and the right of 12. There's only two elements on the left of 7, so we do that for 2 and 5. Same thing for 10 and 11. And then 14, there's only one element, so we can assume that's sorted. Then we can perform quick sort again recursively on smaller subsets if the array is bigger. Once we are only left with one element to sort, we know that quick sort has been performed correctly. So you keep on selecting pivots until you're left with only one element to pivot it in. Once you're left with one element to pivot on and nothing else to sort, then you know that element is in the right corresponding place. You notice that after every iteration, our pivot was sorted in the correct place. After our first iteration, 9 was in the correct place. Almost no other element was in the correct place, or if they were, it was random chance. But since we moved everything, you know, to the left less than 9, and to the right greater than 9, we knew 9 was in the correct place. Well, that happens as you do more iterations of the quicksort. So then after you only find pivots, you know you're done with your algorithm, and that your quicksort is done, and you have the array or list fully sorted. I hope you guys like this video. Give this a big thumbs up and tell me if the sound quality was good and if you guys like this animation. Thanks for watching. One more quick note guys, this algorithm can be can be done in n log n time, which is pretty much the fastest any sorting algorithm can run, or it can be n square time. It can be a uh, worst case scenario and squared. And this is because it all depends on how you select the pivots. Now, what would be a very bad pivot to select? Either the biggest element in the array or the smallest element in the array, because then everything would just go to one side. And quicksort works better when you create divisions using your pivot points, when you create, you know, basically equal divisions when you select your pivots. And so there's a lot of debate on how to choose your pivot. Some algorithms select three points and then choose the pivot from those three points. They select the middle of those three points. But that's just so you guys know for your tests.